Hello, my name is Dr. Ben. Happy welcome to a new video. Today I want to show you a typical issue on an iPad Air fourth generation. So we get really a lot of them devices here. Really a lot of them devices which are mailed in or they come directly uh, in front of the store. And mostly they always have the same issue. The device is shutting down, doesn't work anymore at all. So you don't see anything on the screen. You can't charge it, nothing works, okay? and. If you control it and you get it, uh, get a charging cable in it and you see on the USB amp meter always about 550 uh, milliamps with screen connected. If you see these 550 milliamps with screen connected and about 480, 450 with, uh, with screen disconnected, 400, uh, 450 to 480 with a disconnected screen and 550 milliamps with a connected screen. You normally know, you normally know that you have an issue with a shorted cap and an end circuit. So an end circuit, really important on these devices. But what happens mostly is that because of that short circuit uh, cap, the power IC shorts too. And then the main power IC is done and you need to replace it to get a working device again. So you have to do two things in this situation. One time you need to move away this NAND cap, the shorted NAND cap, you can easily see it normally with your eyes, otherwise you just need a thermal cam um, for seeing it. And after that, you need to replace the main power IC. Normally then the devices work fine again. So just a quick tip from me. I want to show you now under the thermal cam how the, um, the power IC looks like. If it's completely shorted, then we just remove the power IC from the board and then we replace it. The replacement I got from Mobile Centrix in this case, um, they have them in stock and they have them for the best price actually on the market. So I can totally recommend them for getting these ICs. Okay, we now just go under the thermal cam, then we go under the microscope, we remove um, this shorted main power IC and then we replace it and we will have a look if this device wants to boot again then. So let's go. So now we just add some flux at the sides of the power IC and we take the hot air and just give some temperature to the main power IC. And I got a plate on the right side and as soon as the temperature has reached the solder melted, we just take the IC off. Then we just add some flux to the board, take our desolder wick, our solder iron and a little bit of solder paste and now we just clean the board first on the top side of the power IC then on the bottom side of the power IC place on the board we just need to get a clean surface here so we can just sit down the new power IC without any issues now we just turn it again take the brush and clean a little bit after that we take the rest of the solder you can see here we got some we got some solder on the pads but that's not a problem fresh wick with fresh solder and everything is fine now we just clean and then we just add some flux again to the logic board just a little bit the amount should be enough that everything is okay under the IC. We place the IC in the right way. And now hot air and give it to me, baby. Wonderful. Just have a look at the IC. Don't fly, doesn't fly away. And now we just heat it up. Give it a little kick on the side to see, okay, it moves, it comes back. It's pretty fine. And now we can just clean the board and everything is fine we can go on by assembling the device here we are again you saw we just replaced the main power ic the short on the nand rail i already solved before removed before and now we just want to see if this device wants to work again because this is really um, a repair which 
not only we see every day, I think you see repairs like this on an iPad Air 4 every day too and a lot of you um, still are searching for solutions because I got a lot of messages recording to this. So I think this could be helpful for a lot of people. So we just connect the screen to the FPCs. Let me have a look that we get it into the right connection here too. Hey, come on. Yeah, we are in. And this one we need to connect to. So we are fine now. Connected the screen completely. And now it's about getting a screw down to the board for getting the battery down. And now let's have a look if this device wants to work again. I just get a charging cable into the device and let's wait. And we see an Apple that's beautiful iPad Air 4, really, really common issue and you know, oh, we have personal image, but Tim can blur it, okay? So our social media guy, Tim, can blur the screen later. And you see the device charges here and the touch screen works fine. And here you can see it charges. We have access to all the important data and the device works fine again. iPad Air 4, error solution on, no charge, no boot, no power, nothing works. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us thumbs up, comment, like ever. Thanks a lot for watching. Here's Dr. Ben.